You want to come to this school? I've gone sick twice this past quarter. There's a blizzard outside. It's 32 degrees on average. You still want to come to this school. If you do, and you're trying to write your white Northwestern essay, I'm going to try to help you. Why? Because I, um... In 300 words or less, help us understand how you might engage specific resources and blah, blah, blah. Great. So, when you're writing the white Northwestern essay, um, good luck. I'm probably making this video too late. Am I making it too late? I'm making it too late. You know what? It's fine. This is evergreen. Like, this is going to be the same no matter what year you're in. The white Northwestern essay is not going to change. If it changes, I'll make a new video. I'm going to try to make this five minutes, so listen up. So, divide your essay into two different paragraphs. One, your extracurriculars. Two, your academics. I don't know why I'm talking in this accent, but the reason why you want to split it into two is because Northwestern wants well-balanced students, which means they want to know all aspects of your life and not just your academics. For academics, you can talk about the quarter system, the academics, the certificates. All of those are valid just make sure it aligns with your profile, with your extracurriculars, so that you're giving off a cohesive statement of who you are. If you're a jumble of mess, like, no. Like, you need to be as focused as you can, even if you are in different subjects. Like, be as focused as you can. When I mean focused, I mean stay in the same niche. Like, if you're a bio major, don't go saying that you went to math competitions. Like, that doesn't make any sense. Unless you're a bio math major, is that a thing? <sighs> At this point, I would not be surprised. There are so many different majors here that I've never heard of before. So, essentially, if you can convince them that you can make Northwestern's name famous in Texas, they'll admit you. Nobody knows where Northwestern is in Texas. Literally, I went up to my teachers and I'm like, Hey, I got into Northwestern and they're like, oh, that's great. Where, where is it? But academics are not enough. So you talk about your academics, but you need to talk about your academic extracurriculars. That's right. So whether you want to participate in pre-professional programs or not, you want to get internships. For me, I wrote, I wanted to be under the Chicago 20 under 20. That's like an entrepreneurship thing. You need to do something like that. You need to show that you have high ambitions. You have high goals. You want to aim high. That is my advice for you. Second paragraph, see, I said this was pretty quick. One, you want to talk about clubs because that's, it's pretty obvious. Extracurriculars mostly consisted of clubs. Later on in this video, I will give you a lot of specifics in terms of clubs and the social scene and whatever. Last but not least, in your second paragraph, you should talk about the social scene, which is actually very difficult if you've never actually been on campus. And a lot of colleges ask this question, probably because like either they want to know like if you know insider information about the college, or something, I, I don't know, I think that's the only thing, it really, I don't, I don't know any other thing. Remember that everything you need to write needs to build up to a picture of who you are. So whether or not, like, there's no point in you faking stuff, because if you fake stuff or you don't, it's not going to make any difference. So, like, don't fake it, because when you fake it, it also appears less genuine. According to some people, just don't run the risk of doing that. As long as the stuff that's inside your activity list, your essays, and your Why Us Northwestern essays are cohesive, they're one ball, yeah, they're one hump, as long as they're cohesive, you will be fine. But if they're like not cohe if they're like spiky that's they need to be s they need to be smooth okay they need to be like 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 egg smooth eggs the eggs is not even smooth now what's smoother than an egg they need to be smooth as a raw chicken okay they need to be so glistening smooth like you can't really have a really weird story where like your essay is talking about you eating barbecue ribs on the toilet and your activities is like astronomy club like that's not cohesive nevertheless at the end of the day you still need some insider stuff some hooks that you can put in your story to make you feel like oh this kid knows the stuff this kid knows what they're talking about and that's what i'm gonna give you right now so so in your first paragraph in the academics you can just pick anything just pick anything that you enjoy the thing about northwestern is that it prides itself on being very easy to double major like i'm not sure if this is the same across all schools like it's possible to triple major and graduate in five years i believe here um and for double majoring you can graduate on time without any like extra summer maybe you might need to overload and take like five classes a quarter for some quarters i don't know don't quote me on that it varies depending on which major you're choosing but academics here is pretty good fairly well so it's it's much easier to get a double major here at northwestern personally on my application you guys can go watch that i 
put a link down in the description but i did not talk about the double majors here because that's not personally what i wanted and it didn't really make sense with my application so this is a case-by-case -case basis weather you know a lot of people talk about how beautiful northwestern is in their white northwestern essay they're just like ah oh, northwestern so beautiful like you can see the lake and it just shimmers like oh like that weather lasts for about two weeks to a month. Like what everyone says, like it does not last very long. Like what is it? It's November 17th. There's a blizzard outside. Like I, I came in from a blizzard. Like it was so bad. There was so much snow. I loved it, but that's because I'm a masochist. I realized it wasn't recording. For the past 10 minutes. First paragraph. Now we should talk about the insider information, which you all would love to hear. Fucking camera did not care. The thing about Northwestern is that it prides itself on being like a double major school because it's like on a quarter system. So it's much easier for you to get credits and take more courses than on a regular semester system. This also means that you have multiple midterms. Like you have like two, one to two midterms for every class. That's not how midterms work, but that's how midterms work here. So like. Just keep that in mind. Academics aren't really, really hard. I just feel like they're at a college difficulty with no, like, no mercy at all. Like, it's perfect for masochists. Anyway, you know, this is why I always watch vlogs in high school, because, like, I always want to get these, like, tiny details. I just want to get, like, ah, oh, this one thing that no one has talked about. If I mention that, they'll be like, ha, this kid knows this. So I heard of, like, the Northwestern Dance mar Marathon, where it's like, you dance for 24 hours for charity. And I was like, this is the thing, man. This is what will get me in. And I didn't write that in the end because, like, thank God I didn't because the NU Dance Marathon is actually a pretty popular subject to write about, apparently, because, you know, everything else is just so hidden and it's so hard to find. Like, even me being, like, a freshman on campus, like, finding all these clubs is hella hard. So instead of writing a Dance Marathon, I'm going to give you some examples. There's a sailing club here for anyone who wants to become a sailor, you know, become Popeyes and all that. Just kidding. Sorry, sailing team. Don't, don't come after me. There's also the rowing team. Um, there's a club for building battle robots. Um, there's Oh, there's also uh, a club that builds like solar paneled uh, race cars, right? There's an improv comedy group called Bix that does improv comedy while singing. Like, li this is live. I really want to get into that, but I need to practice up on my singing and then my improv. So there's also like a big dance team culture here like if you're a dance team you're like an elite here just saying in my personal opinion that's kind of how it is because the dance team people look really cool on stage anyways last thing i think you can talk about is like the residential system to further on expand on like the social scene you could talk about like how there's a difference between residential college and residential halls residential colleges are just they have like faculty um living near and you have like events residential halls are like no faculty no events your sweet style living traditional dorm style you can talk about that if you want you can also talk about events that you want to go to inside evanston slash chicago because that's what i did like i said i want to go to like the industrial museum in chicago or something like that and honestly yeah as long as you include all those points, you should be good to go. If you want a better breakdown sentence by sentence of how to write this, I made a video on that, which no one watched. But I made this video just because now I am in Northwestern. I can tell you these little things that you can try to incorporate in your essays. Yeah, just in include acronyms, right? I mean, the don't include like crazy acronyms that the mission officers might not know but if you include like ones like tech for like the technological place spac the northern gym you can include that you can also talk about how the fact that we have a lighthouse a clock tower two beaches all on campus you can also talk about that that's insane i didn't know about that until i came on campus it apparently snows on the sand on campus. That is also insane to me. Apparently there's a running joke that everyone here wears Canada Goose for like their jacket, which I don't know because I've never seen a Canada Goose, so I can't tell you what a Canada Goose looks like, but just passing on the knowledge too. And honestly, I think that's a good start. That's a good start for you on your application. Um, 
And yeah, good luck. I hope to see you here on campus, and we will see you in the next video as well. We are very behind on those. That's why we're also making this video. Sorry about that. We'll see you in the next video. Bye!